Hello everybody, today we are going to be servicing a Steiner uh, pump. It is model 85MHP17. Uh, there's a lot of different ones, very similar. So you can see that it's dripping. And what happens is this tube on the inside will get wore out, it'll split, and then the, uh, the water leaks out. What this pump does is it takes water from the chlorine tank, pumps it up and over into this big tank over here on the side you'll see where it comes in is right here um, there's also like a little check valve in there I'm hoping that's okay if not we'll go over how to replace that as well I do get this serviced once a year um, from the supplier of the equipment the installer uh, but this is about mid-year and that wore out it's like 150 bucks for them to come out and do it so one time I went in and I bought uh, a bunch of these tubes. This one takes Steiner number two. And after, they make different ones. I think there's four different tubes. So what I did is I went into the supplier and I bought it directly from them, found out which one it was, and I went online and found cheaper ones. So we're gonna take this apart. Um, I already turned it off, which is just a switch up here. Uh, so it's not pumping anymore. And we'll go ahead and get started on how we take this off. All right, so step number one is we want to take these off. So we want to make sure we keep them in the right order so that it's pumping the water correctly. This far one comes from the tank. This big one, or the closer one, goes up to our big tank. So we just want to unscrew these. Usually they're kind of finger tight. If not, just grab a little wrench to pull it. I'm going to pull that out. Okay, and that's a little bit of what I was afraid of. Hopefully that'll stop leaking out because if it keeps running, that means that check valve on the uh, on the big tank is bad. Um, I usually will put these so that they're kind of in the same side as they go back on. That way we don't get them flipped around. So we're gonna do this one as well. Just kind of pull it out and we're gonna leave that so that it's on that side so we know to put it back on. Now to access the tube, what we're going to do is it's held on with this bracket and it slides in and out. So we can take it and we're just going to slide it straight up and then we just turn it over and slide it back in. That allows us to access this top part, this top part up here without it dangling and falling or putting any pressure on. Now to get inside of here, on mine, there's the thing here. It's just to clip that off. One on the other side. And it should just pop right off. Now, some of the older models, you will see uh, screws and stuff they gotta take out. So just kinda do a review of it and make sure you uh, do it the right way. Um, this is kinda dirty on the inside, so I am gonna kinda wipe that out uh, before I put it back on. So the next step is gonna be to take the old tube out. All right, so do a little bit different perspective there. So to get the old tube out, you literally can just do that and you give it a pull around and the old tube is out. All right, so while I have it out, I'm just gonna, I take a paper towel, just kind of wipe it out a little bit. Try to get some of that gunk built up stuff out of there. You know, it doesn't have to be anything special, but um, now if you look, this thing spins. So that's how we're gonna get the new one on there by spinning it around. So with the new tube, we put it on. It doesn't matter which way it goes. There's no in, out. It just slides on. There's this little groove right here. So it'll slide into this groove. And as it slides on, you can kind of turn this. It gets kind of hard. So you just gotta kind of manhandle it. I have seen them um, do it where they turn the thing on and it moves it around. Um, I've tried that before, it didn't really work out that well for me, but maybe you'll have better luck. But I just kind of use some brute force and just keep moving it around. Just move it a little bit and you can push the wire or push the uh, tube down. It is admittingly not that easy to do, but after you get it all the way, it'll click right back in here. 
the groove, and then we'll be all set. So I gotta turn this a little bit more. And we're there. All right, so it takes a little, a little bit of force, but we got it. All right, so I wiped the cap off, and you just set it right back on. And then you use the little clips on each side, and pick it up, we'll flip it back over. And slide it in. Now that those are slid in, we'll rehook these up. So I take the far one, we'll put it back into this far piece. And again, just kind of hand tighten it on there. And we'll take this other one that is still leaking. So I am a little, a little concerned that it's a check valve that is our issue. Yeah, if it starts spinning on you, You can use a wrench just to hold the tube in place and then you can tighten that one down a little more. I wouldn't go too much past hand tight. Um, that's really all you need. So, I back up, you can see yeah, my floor is all wet uh, because it's been leaking. That's obviously how I knew it was, it was leaking. But this isn't leaking anymore. There should never really be any water in there unless your tube wears out and starts leaking. So, I'm gonna flip it back on. And to get that to turn on, we need to get the well going. So to get the well going, I'm gonna come over here, and this is done the big tank, and I'm just gonna open this up, set so drains out. And it already kicked on, it didn't take much. So you can see that working, and it pulls the tube. By rotating like that, it creates a suction that pulls it from here out to here. So in and then out to the big tank. So I'm going to keep an eye on it, and if the uh, the thing leaks again, it's going to be safe to assume that the uh, valve in that piece up there went bad. And if that's the case, we'll post another video on how to replace that. Um, another way to know if that's leaking is to keep an eye on your tank, and if it goes up at all, you know that water is being pushed through and back in. So if that happens, I know that that's my issue. So we'll keep an eye on it. And that is how you do the tube part. And if we need to do that little valve up top, we'll do that in another video. Uh, but if anyone has any questions, comments, concerns, please uh, leave them in the comments below. Hit like, subscribe and all that stuff. And we will talk to you later.